Okay guys, here is the the main computer system here again. Um, just doing another quick video. I moved it from being on the little table back onto my my 10 foot chunk of countertop again. Um, this is originally what I used to have it on when this was at my house. Um, but since I opened up the store and moved everything into here, I set it up on a table. Um, and now I'm back on the countertop. It's just nice to have the extra space and it looks nicer. Um, I just got file cabinets on each end for my legs. Um, they they definitely do the job for holding it up nice and cheap and, and plenty of, plenty of uh, dust space there. Um, but that was the table. It was uh, chilling on there. Um, but anyways, um, I replaced my uh, center 1440 screen with a 4K monitor, so now I'm running 2160 in the middle, and then the 1440s on the outside. Um, I actually kind of do like how it's like tiered, how the middle screen is dropped down from the outside screens, how they're higher. I actually kind of do like that now Now that it's all done and set. Um, I think it kind of looks neat. Um, there was enough room to get the 27, the 28, and the 27 inch screen on the stand. Um, not much extra, but it fits uh, thanks to the the thin thin bezels on the Asus. Um, I think all of them being 328, oh, it would be very very close to making it fit. Um, I don't know if I'll get to that point or not. Um, the one 4K screen is definitely pretty sweet. Um, it makes a huge difference in gaming. Um, the 1440 was cool, but I mean, it wasn't that much of a difference, but now this 4K screen is like, wow. It's a completely night and day difference, um, even going from the 1440 screen. So I can't imagine jumping from a 1080, it would be, be even more. Um, I do not use any desktop scaling. Um, I tried it, but the problem is, is it messes with the outside screens and enlarges them too, and then they begin to look like crap. It's pretty much if I set them to run in 1080. Well, they look horrible when you're not in a native resolution. Um, so I just said, ah, screw it. Um, left it 100% scaling, and within a couple hours, I'm pretty used to it. Um, I haven't been getting headaches as much either, even though the writing is so freaking small and tiny. I mean, I can read it just fine, but I, my headaches have become less frequent than they were before. I used to get them all the time. Well, it must just be something with the way the the lighting or something on the panel is. I don't know, maybe something to do with that DC backlight technology or whatever they, they claim to help with headaches, but it seems to be working in my case. Um, let's see here. Uh, one big change I did as well was the speakers. Um, I finally brought the decent set from home here to replace the just the two two channel desktop speakers I had sitting there. This is a 5.1 channel, but I don't have the rear the rear two hooked up. Um, so I just have the fronts, the center, and then the sub down underneath. Um, I do have the bass pretty well turned down. Um, just because bass travels and I don't want my neighbors here in the building to get annoyed with boom, 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 boom. Uh, <laughs> I pretty much play music all day long here or gaming or whatever, fixing computers. And I love my job. Sometimes it's just things that just take time to do and they pretty much do it themselves. I just start some programs running and then go play a game for an hour and go back and push a couple of buttons and just keep going back and forth. Um, it's pretty sweet, I can't complain. Um, and then on the right side here and back, um, I have um, hard drive docked there next to the phone um, that takes two and a half inch and three and a half inch drives. Um, I just picked that up with the 4K monitor. Um, that's just convenient to have because I find myself pulling hard drives from laptops mainly laptops like all the time I'm pretty much on a daily basis now it seems so I finally invested in in that rather than having to fart around with the drive and mounting it in the cage and putting it in my computer and that just makes it so easy um, it also has a cloning feature where it's standalone so you put a drive in one another drive in the other hit a button on the back and it'll clone them um, regular mechanical or SSD doesn't matter um, does a good job 
Um, I actually haven't used the cloning, but just to run diagnostics and copy files um, to the network and stuff like that. It works works perfect. Um, and back, I have a pair of um, Roswell uh, USB headphones. Um, they're okay. Grab these guys from home too. I don't remember the model number or anything offhand. Um, but I remember I used to do like a call center thing at home out of my house and I would dial like 300 people a day and this is what I wore. And I remember it used to make my head hurt so bad wearing this on the side of my head. So I haven't even used it since I just brought it here. I figured I would just use it for the microphone if I ever need it. But that's all that guy's for. Um, there is one thing I did. Um, I think it was on Saturday over the weekend. Yeah, and then on Saturday, um, I decided to, because I had an issue with my, uh, these uh, GTX G1 gaming graphics cards here. Um, they were too big, too thick. Um, th they didn't have enough space in between them. When you have three of them here, it would be the same with four. Um, the fan would touch the card below, or fans, I should say, and then the fans couldn't spin if I used that rigid three-way. So I had flexible, three flexible cables kind of rigged up. That way it would allow me to kind of squeeze them apart and separate them to get some space in between. Um, but now, as you can see, I have the three-way bridge back on there, and all the fans are spinning. And there is indeed some room in between there. I don't know if you can see it or not, but... On the two bottom cards, I removed the back plate, so only the top card now has the back plate and the other two are missing. Um, that freed up quite a bit of space, um, I'd say probably a quarter inch there, which is quite a bit. Um, one I had absolutely nothing before. Um, so that is cool, kind of a disappointment that I would have to do that. Um, I mean, they should fit out of the box, I don't know why why they would do that but I guess it is what it is um, so yeah I got got that going at the three-way bridge and I mean it's not that noticeable as you mainly see the card on top so I left that one as is um, so I got that taken care of um, still didn't put the side back on it I like having the side off actually um, yeah there's the, the sub down there I'm um, laptops I'm working on and yeah thanks for watching